Welcome to New Markets Railway Station in Auckland. The date is January 16th, 2023, and today we'll be riding on one of Auckland Transport's commuter services as far as Baldwin Avenue. New Market Station is normally served by the Western, Southern and Onehunga lines. At the time of uploading, the section down to Westfield Junction is closed for major track upgrades. So currently the only trains serving Newmarket are the regular Swanson workings and a dedicated shuttle to and from Britomart. Access to the platforms is through ticket barriers like these ones. You can use paper tickets bought from the ticket machine or AT hop cards to get through and onto the train. In my case, I always use the latter option. The current Newmarket station opened in 2009, replacing temporary stations at Newmarket South and Newmarket West, and consisting of two island platforms serving three tracks. In our case, we're going to platform one to catch the Western Line train. And here she comes on her way from Britomart, with the driver needing to change ends at the station. All commuter services in Auckland since August 12, 2022, have been operated by the 72-strong AM-class electric multiple units, which were built by CAF of Spain between 2013 and 2020. The unit for our journey today is AM851, one of the newest units from the 2019-2020 batch. One of the first things you'll notice upon boarding the AM is the terrible seats. These are of an uncomfortable and harder design with next to no padding, what the Brits might call ironing board seats. And apparently CAF's Class 197 diesel units in the UK suffer from the same problem. Unlike the Class 197s however, the AMs do not have toilets, as they only run commuter services no longer than 56 minutes. With a maximum journey time that short, there's no need for toilets on board the train. A similar situation is found with the Matangi EMUs down in Wellington, where the longest amount of time you can spend on one of them is 60 minutes on the Waikanae to Wellington run. Normally it takes 15 minutes to get from Newmarket to Baldwin Avenue, and we will be calling at three stations on the way. And those stations are Grafton, Kingsland, and Morningside. The section between Grafton and Kingsland is temporarily reduced down to single track as a result of the City Rail Link construction at Mount Eden, whose original station closed in early 2020. You can see most of the work from the right hand side of westbound trains. This electrified section out to Swanson is actually part of the North Auckland line, which continues all the way to Whangarei via Helensville, Kaipadra Flats and Wellsford. Unfortunately, the only regular train that continues past Swanson is a once daily freight service. Though in 2008 there were trials put in place to run a commuter service to Helensville, though sadly those trials were unsuccessful. As we leave Kingsland, we get a decent view of Eden Park. This is a huge stadium that often hosts rugby or cricket matches. And indeed, both the All Blacks and Black Caps have played here many times over the years. Morningside. 
Your AT hop card or ticket may be checked at any time. And a few minutes later, we disembark from AM 851 at Baldwin Avenue. Because the card reader's screen was broken, I don't know how much this trip cost. However, this isn't too much of an issue since the fares are pretty cheap anyway. In conclusion, I think the AMs are decent units and perfectly suitable for the services they run. Not to mention the ride quality is generally very smooth, which I think is down to both the track condition and the train zone suspension. My only major issues with these units are their terrible seats and bland interiors. There's just not enough colour variation, despite the contrasting blue seats and white walls. In other words, I think the interior just looks very spartan. Thinking back to the seats, I think CAF should have taken inspiration from the older Matangi EMUs in Wellington, whose seats are a lot more comfortable. And that's been a quick, independent look at part of the Auckland Commuter Rail Network and the AM Electric Multiple Units. I can confidently suggest checking out these trains if you haven't already done so. And they're fairly easy to find, with services usually running every 20 minutes off peak and every 10 minutes at peak times. Thank you all for watching and take care.